Stop taking advice from your single friends. Stop taking your advice from your friends who are in a toxic relationship. Hello beautiful people, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Allie and welcome to my channel. Today on my channel, we're gonna be doing a little something different. So I thought, of course, since I have experience in this field, if y'all don't know, I am married. So I would say I have a little something to give. I believe that I can help y'all find your right one. I decided to make this video because I know there are some people out there who are looking for the right one in the wrong ways. And I believe that I can offer some help. Another reason why I'm making this video is because I'm going to be honest with y'all, I've made mistakes in the past and I thought the wrong one was the right one. So I don't want y'all to get caught up in those nonsense. I want y'all to listen to what I'm saying and kind of take it with a grain of salt because at the end of the day, you have to specialize it towards you. And I really feel like this video can be for you ladies and you gentlemen. So all of y'all can take this advice and do what you can with it. Just so y'all know, this advice that I'm giving you is pretty general and I've used this advice. I got this advice from someone else and I use it, I apply it to my life and bam, I found the right one. But I'm just letting you know, it took patience, all right? But we'll get back to that in a moment. I just wanna also say that this is not about no manifestations, no spiritual, other, you know, what I'm talking about. It's not no affirmations, none of that. This is just purely Christian content. I'm letting y'all know as a Christian woman, I'm gonna give y'all the best advice that I can give. So if you wanna listen, here is what I'm gonna say. And remember, like I said, please keep an open mind. So for me, I believe everyone deserves to find the right one because love is so special. It's so amazing. Honestly, if you've never actually experienced love, you won't even know how awesome it is. So I don't know if you heard this advice before, but I suggest you take like a journal or a piece of paper or your laptop, something to write down or type down because you're gonna have to make this list. I believe when you write stuff down, it really helps you to remember in your head because we can have this list in our head, but then kind of forget about it. But when you write it down, you can always look back to that little list and be like, hey, okay, I understand now. So what I want you to do when you have the time is go ahead and write a list of expectations you want from your partner, like the basic stuff. And after you're done, go ahead and review that list. Like you can put a little bit of how you want your partner to look, how you want your partner to treat you, what type of person are you looking for? Are you looking for like a funny type of person? Are you looking for a more serious person? Something along the lines of that. I would also suggest that you pray while doing this list because God can really help you figure out what you need. Because there might be some things that you may want, but is it really what you need in a partner? So I would say pray to God and ask him to help you out with the list. And once you figure out that list, look at the list and see what you've written down and see, is this stuff realistic? If you put something like you want your partner to have a eight figure income. Well, here's a question I have for you. Are you making eight figures? Are you making at least seven or six? It's gotta make sense now. It's gotta make sense. As much as I hate to say this, life is not a fairy tale. It's not like those Disney movies where the really poor person go ahead and meets a fine prince and then they fall in love. Blah, blah, dee, 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 dee. I used to think about that too. Now that type of stuff only happens once in a lifetime. It does not happen all the time, okay? Just because it has happened in your lifetime does not mean it's going to happen to you. You. So you might want to bring down your expectations a little bit. And when I say bring down your expectations, I don't mean 
bring down your standards because I believe that standards and expectations are two different things. Expectations is like what you expect from the person versus standards is stuff that you will not bargain on. Standards can be like somebody who's a family person, like family oriented. I would say standards would be something like you expect this person to respect you. You want them to be educated. It can be stuff like that. There's no problem with that because as long as you are family oriented, you are educated, it should be fine to write down those things. There's nothing wrong with having standards for a future partner that you already do yourself. But at the same time, you kind of have to be a little bit flexible because this is not like build a bear. It's not build a man, build a woman, where you just write down all the stuff you want and you get it. So sorry to let you know this, but that ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. Like I said, make sure the list is realistic. Now, moving forward, the next thing you need to do is when you are looking for a partner is you need to do inner work. Y'all hate to hear this, but it is so important. If you have problems going on in your life, you need to fix those first and foremost before you go ahead and get somebody involved in them. I'm just saying, like you were mad bipolar and you're expecting somebody to be mad peaceful with you. No, 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 no. You gotta fix that up. You gotta fix that, all right? You gotta work on your feelings. You have to work on how you move throughout life. Cause I'm gonna tell y'all, I had to let a lot of stuff go and I had to change a lot. I'm pretty sure like even my family can tell you, like my close family, like my parents and my sisters can tell you, I've changed a lot as a person. I've definitely grown. I've done a lot of inner work and I'm such a different person in such a good way. I definitely have matured over the years and I'm very proud of myself for that. And I would give y'all the same advice. Make sure you are mature enough. Make sure you know how to handle your stuff before you go ahead and just throw somebody in the mix because let me tell you a toxic relationship is not you finding the right one if the relationship is toxic like a hundred percent it's not it's not the right one y'all are not meant to be together so if you're with somebody who's toxic just go ahead and leave them honestly but obviously you have a talk with them don't just walk out of people's life like that because that's kind of rude and disrespectful now to piggyback off of what i was saying about prayer you need to pray because you have to have patience throughout this process don't expect to find the one tomorrow okay because y'all ain't gonna get married in one day and if you do that's kind of a little bit crazy I'm just saying i don't think that's the right idea i would always suggest starting off as friends you kind of have to put yourself out there and you have to be open into talking to new people because if you're not open to talking to new people how will you find the right one if they come up to you and talk to you and you're just don't want to talk like you're really disrespectful saying like uh, I don't want to talk to him uh -uh. I don't know who this man is trying to come up to me if you have that mentality where you think you're better than everyone you ain't gonna find nobody I'm sorry and especially not the right one you may go through a couple of relationships but that does not mean nothing when you find the right one you stick with him okay the right one should be sticking with you for a lifetime so that's why I say have patience you know, start off as friends. If you know somebody does come into your life, say from the get go, like let's say they're trying to get your number or whatever, talk to you and things like that. Let them know straight up like, um, hey, yeah, I am looking for a friend. Or if they like try and ask you out, be like, oh, I'm sorry, right now I'm actually looking for a friend. Now, if they actually still have interest in you after you say that, that's a good sign. That is a very good sign. Because when you're friends with somebody, you get to learn them more on an inner level than just the outer physique. And I think that's very important because looks fade, but a good spirit 
it's gonna stay in good spirit. Now I suggest if you need some more help, I would say you read this book. The book is a little bit controversial, but I'm gonna tell you the name of it. It's called The Weight. So if you don't know about the book, the book basically tells you about waiting and da 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 da. I don't wanna go in depth because I'm trying to keep my channel a little bit on the friendlier side, if you know what I'm saying. And even though the couple that wrote the weight are broken up, I still feel like there are some key points that you can take away from the book. So don't knock it until you try it. But I don't think you have to read the book in order to find the right one. Oh, and I wanna say something else. Stop taking advice from your single friends. Stop taking your advice from your friends who are in a toxic relationship, telling you how to be in a good relationship or what you need in a relationship because they're not even in a good relationship themselves or they're not in a relationship at all. So if they are not in a relationship, they're not married because, you know, when I say the right one, obviously, wouldn't you want to get married to that person? And real quick, when I speak about marriage, I want to put in one more thing, which is kids. I'm not saying you have to straight up go ahead and have kids. I'm just saying, think about it. If you are thinking of having kids, you might want to write that on your list. Somebody who you know will be a good family person, like a good mom or a good dad in the future. Like you see those characteristics in them. They're very respectful. They're very kind hearted. They're very empathetic. Things of that nature that you would want to have in your kids in the future if you are able to have kids but I'm not saying rush to have kids. I'm really not. And also, if you don't want kids, you might wanna specify that on your list as well because you gotta make sure that who you're gonna end up with doesn't want kids either because that can drive somebody out of a relationship. Like, if you're married and you say you don't want kids but the other person does and y'all don't wanna make a compromise, that can get y'all separated, so please, talk about all those things but I'm not saying like once you find someone who kind of meets your list standards to go ahead and be like oh are you gonna do this for me are you gonna do that for me and da, 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 da. do not bombard people with questions when you first meet them because that's the quickest way for you to scare someone off okay when, later down the line when you start seeing them having interest then you can like here and there ask little tiny questions just because you're curious but do not throw these questions at people because honestly, that can scare someone. It really can scare someone off. I'm being honest with you. Not a lot of people would tell you this, but you got to, you got to cool off. Yes, you need to be open and honest, but you don't have to be open and honest all at once. You don't have to come up with all those questions at once. Don't, you know what I'm saying? And that's my advice on how to find the right one. So if y'all do take my advice, let me know what happens, okay? Let me know, I wanna stay in the loop. I wanna know if I'm over here making connections for y'all, but you know, at the end of the day, it's all up to God, all right? He's the one who's gonna make the overall decision, so you need to speak with him. Cause trust me, when you're in a relationship, oh, you gonna need him. I'm telling y'all this now, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, baby, unless the Lord is there. All right. Thank y'all for watching. Let me know down below in the comments what you think I said. And also, and make sure to like this video so I know if I should make more content like this in the future. And also make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay notified when I upload, which is pretty often, so y'all won't miss me. Thank you, beautiful people, and stay blessed.